<laughs> Here's a name I can say from the Eradicator. Hello and welcome to this channel everybody. This is the Eradicator and this video is going to be a little follow-up on the, one of the previous videos that I did recently about my overpowered battle-ready cutlass. A lot of you guys have been wondering what the components exactly are and especially you have been wondering about which guns did I use. Did I use. So uh, this is the website that I used to figure out what would be eventually best for my cutlass. So this is hardpoint.io. I know that there are lots of other websites but uh, I just happened to like like this one so this is the one that i'll be talking about in this video uh, so as you can see this is the drake cutlass black this is so far everything stuck here so we're gonna have to change that a little bit i didn't change any of the missiles i still have the basic missiles uh, but first here's the things that i did change first i changed the shield generator which we can see is the stop here uh, and i changed it to, I know the biggest one here, Sukoran here, with uh, 38,000 hit points of shield capacity. It was a little bit too expensive, so instead I used Rampart here at 32,000 shield capacity. Now, next, uh, what did I use after that? After that, we used uh, a uh, brand new... Um, what is that here? This is a power generator. So the daybreak here is just at 5,900 maximum power generation. Not uh, a lot, uh, definitely not enough for what I'm needing here. So instead I bought another one and I bought Sedulity here, which is bringing me 13,000 uh, power generation. So as you can see here, we're more than doubling the power generated here for the ship. Next, after, we need to have more coolers because obviously, even with the basic coolers, we are overheating very, uh, very easily with the stock ship. So this is not good. So we need a better cooler here. So here I actually, but I did not buy the, the best cooler because it's it was a little bit too expensive. Uh, so what I bought here was actually, if I can find it for you, uh, I bought um, I bought Cool Core here, which is uh, double what we already have. At the beginning, we start with four million cooling power. We are now at eight million. I could have bought Snowpack eventually, uh, but this is just way too expensive. Uh, the price. I mean, uh, I, if I see that I am overheating a little bit too much, that perhaps I will go for this. But uh, so far, I don't see the necessity or at least the need. And there will be more videos to show you why Cool Core is just good enough. Now, be careful. Uh, when, with your coolers because you actually need to buy uh, two of them otherwise you are not going to have optimal efficiency so there we have it these are my components now you are wondering which guns am i using so uh, as you can see these are the basic guns here we have two laser repeaters and we also have uh, two scorpion gt215 which are ballistic guns so all of these are gone and i am going to change everything with uh, what we can see here are, are, the, are the, the guns that do make the most damage uh, person. Now, be careful, because here you can see you have some scatter guns here, but at the same time, uh, scatter, guns, um, scatter guns deplete very quickly, and at the same time, uh, they, they shoot very uh, slowly too. So you gotta have to be careful. I'm not a big fan of scatter gun. I am personally uh, a, a much bigger fan of things uh, like, uh, I'm not a big fan of distortion either because they take down shields, but then they're not very good at uh, taking down armor. So uh, then what what is required? Well, I prefer lasers, uh, but there's something even better than laser. I love the attritions, but unfortunately attritions here uh, is uh, not going to do enough damage per second. Instead, what I really, uh, what, I, what I chose for with the best uh, damage per second, if I go for laser, were neutral guns. And these are the ones that I went for, the NN14 Neutron Auto Cannon. So uh, we are going to put everything here uh, with the uh, neutron and and um, N14 neutral cannon. Neut ah, but, but, but it's so hard to say with the NN14 neutron auto cannon. So here we go, all NN14 uh, neutral cannon. Neutron cannon. Oh, this is really hard to say. I'm having a hard time <laughs> doing uh, doing this video. Uh, and uh, we'll do here this one uh, as well. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right. And uh, we are really having uh, fantastic firepower with this, with a quadruple uh, 384 damage per second. It requires a lot of energy, but again, with a brand new, uh, with a brand new, uh, with a brand new power plant, that is really not an issue at all. I have been able to fire nonstop for 
for several minutes without overheating. I've never had any power failure. So I think that this is a pretty serious, uh, a pretty serious loadout here for the Cutlass. And uh, so I'm going to show you that again one more time with another combat video. And so we are now at Port Orlistar. We just wanted to show you where I got most of my components. So here we are. Uh, Dumper's Depot, which is where you can find basically pretty much everything. Let's have a quick look. If, of course, the kiosk wants to be working. Didn't want to work there. So, uh, come on, come on, come on. There we are. All right. Interesting. You can buy maining, uh, maining laser heads here, too. But that's not what we want. We want to, I want to show you the coolers that I bought. So, let's go down there. A little bit. They are actually not here because the coolers that I bought, the cool core, is actually located at Cruiser Day L1. So not here. However, here uh, there is the power plant that I bought. It is this one. So it doesn't have a name. It's called Placeholder, but that's actually the one that I got. And Shield Generator is going to be Rampart, which is going to be right there. And it's really uh, very interesting because it only has 50... Uh, the price is only 53,000 of uh, UEC, which I think is a very good price uh, for the money, uh, which is a very good value for, for the money compared to more uh, advanced shield generators that will be, of course, stronger, but far more expensive. And these are the NN-14 Neutron Auto Cannons, which I bought here. I bought four of them here. These are the guns that are equipping my cutlass and you are going to see me uh, you know, f fighting with this cutlass and you are going to see that it is indeed quite effective uh, all of this equipment does allow me to do those very difficult combat missions if you don't have all this equipment this is the retech territory combat mission here worth 12,000 alpha UEC if you complete it so that's actually not uh, not bad it's quite you know, some decent money there 12,000 alpha UEC and so uh, well we're just waiting for my handler here to tell me where the next uh, destination is going to be but uh, this is a very interesting mission because very often you get uh, outnumbered by uh, opponents uh, some of them can be pretty tough especially those cutlasses with scatter guns that can really easily uh, wreck your ships uh, especially your ship's shields apart uh, if you do have the default shields then it is really um, near impossible to complete the mission. Now, some people have to put right, I've completed the mission easily with a constellation. Yeah, uh, of course, if you have a constellation, that's much easier because you don't really need to dogfight. You can, you can, you can, you, you can perform, you know, combat uh, duties from 3,000 meters away. The constellation has a very interesting range, over 3,000 meters. So you can just shoot at those, um, at those uh, M50s. You can shoot at those buccaneers from afar, and that's not really an issue but uh, this is not really something that the cutlass can do now one of the things that I really like with my cutlass now is that I can really get to top speeds very quickly without overheating sure I still get the overheating uh, error but uh, it's not really that much of a big deal uh, it overheats for like a fraction of a second and then the heat tends to be okay so it's not really damaging the ship was not really being such a big nuisance. All right, we've got the first contacts here. When you start this mission, you usually have those. I'm going to have to speak a little bit louder because those guns are indeed a little bit loud. You guys have also been telling me in the comments down below that it's difficult to hear my voice when we can hear those guns. So every time the guns are going to be firing, I will be raising my voice here. So we have to deal here with quite a few turrets. I think there's three of them. Uh, these turrets are stationary, but you, because now my shields are so much stronger than what they used to be, I am able to take the damage. There is a... Uh, well, there were two, but this is actually... Well, there were three, but actually this was a cutlass. So we'll take them. Like, uh, those scatter guns, even with the ramparts, are t doing some damage here to my rampart shields. So when that happens, when I am being attacked a little bit too much, when the opposition is a little bit too tough, I do a strategic retreat and then... Uh, when I think that I am uh, out of range and I I head towards these ships once again. You can see that I have about a third of my shields here, my front shield. That's still going to be okay because Rampart is a very strong shield. Now, it's very important to try to take down as many ships as possible because uh, especially at least one ship at the beginning because see where we have four hostiles here. Uh, that means that there's going to be four ships firing at you. So if you take down one and then two, then you're going to be able to be a little bit more relaxed. Whoa, looks like uh, we are being uh, targeted here. 
So I'm going the good old techniques of doing barrels here. This is uh, going to be very confusing for the missile. There you go. I don't know where it was, but it definitely did not hit the cutlass. Now, since they are sending missiles, and I'll be sending missiles on my own as well, right? So, so here we go. There's one that was just sent. We'll see maybe if we are going to send uh, another one. Uh, there you go. Boom. We've already taken down the shields of the Cutlass, so at least partially. And let's keep up with the good work. As soon as we are in range, we'll continue firing. So as you can see, I am outturning uh, top guns and bottom guns at the same time. How do I do that? I simply click left and clip right alternatively. So first left and right and then all together. And this is how you get uh, both top and bottom guns firing alternatively. Now, sometimes you also do want all four guns at the same time, especially if you're really well aligned. You are going to, of course, do far more damage like this. Uh, the uh, advantage of having... Oh, there we go. Boom. Uh, the advantage of having uh, both uh, sides firing uh, you know, alternatively is that let's you know we have auto aim but auto aim is not perfect sometimes it fails so it would be a shame to actually fail uh, to actually fail aiming with all four guns at the same time so if I have two that fail and two that land a shot then that's obviously more damage that I am doing if I am a little bit closer, this is a little bit far, so I'm still trying to uh, alternate my fire. But let's say when I'm at about 400, 500 meters, I usually uh, shoot uh, all the guns at the same time. And I start to take down that uh, cutlass here. Shouldn't take too long. The shields are down. The target is dead ahead. Should be able to explode. There you go. Boom. Uh, objective el complete. Eliminate hostiles. We are going to go to our next destination here, 40 kilometers away. And for that, just like before, we are going to get uh, or to uh, uh, we're going to give full power to our thrusters. Now you might have not have seen, but of course my shields are also overclocked. How do you overclock your shields? Well, you simply go to the menu and you click to your uh, different components that are available, and you click on overclock. Uh, I've shown that in the previous video. Uh, of course, at 1140 meters per second, it is very quick to travel uh, dozens of kilometers here, as we are seeing in this video. And we are about to arrive here, where our next hostiles are going to be. And uh, we've already got a couple of, uh, of uh, opponents here, mostly, if I am correct, mostly uh, Mustang Deltas, but we are also going to take down a Valkyrie later. So let's see uh, how it is going to be quick to destroy those there. As you can see, same techniques. I am alternating uh, uh, top and bottom firing here. Not really easy. The frames sometimes are not really fantastic. You know, you've got the combination of the asteroids, the lasers, all those NPCs, plus they're all firing at the same time. I mean, it has a little bit of impact on the frame, but eventually it does get better. And there you go, we got a little explosion here, probably a component of the ship there not entirely destroyed it's still a little bit jittery as you can see uh, we're still sometimes occasionally experiencing server issues let's send a missile here just to make sure that we are finishing the job sometimes we still have to right and uh, yeah we'll have a little explosion uh, very soon uh, the frames are in office not really good let's try to destroy at least one of those mustangs this should probably do the work some extra optimization here is definitely going to help in the future okay so what do we have we have another mustang here so same old same old let's take it down as i said before when uh, they are uh, less than 400 meters away i will fire all four laser at the same time so uh, when they are a little bit further away i will not do that i just like how powerful these guns look and sound like now we've got uh, another one here. All right, dead ahead. So let's use all the four here. Look at how quickly those shields are being uh, reduced. Now it's going to be on the side. This is the Valkyrie that you see here. That Valkyrie, I'm telling you, is not going to last for a very long time. I destroyed an engine. Now that the engine is destroyed, it is not moving anymore. So we'll just uh, finish the job very quickly. There you go. All right. And so we've got one more little ship here, uh, a little uh, a little Mustang that I forgot, that's okay. We'll make very short work of it. Side shields are already gone. Ah, it managed to get outside of my line of sight. Oh, it's dead ahead. It is, oh, 
money, right? Just be a little bit more accurate. There you go. Boom. From behind. It has a very tiny, uh, tiny little shape here from front. It's not easy to target it if it's actually, uh, if you are actually on its tail. It's easier to target it from the side. Even the auto aim has issues, which I suppose is an advantage for this ship. Oh, it definitely looks like it lost something. There you go. Oh, what a nice little explosion. Those explosions in Star Citizen are very satisfying, if you'd ask me. I love them. I like it. Uh, it's a very big blaze of light straight into your face. I love it. That's really awesome. Everything about this game. Well, not everything, but there's so many things about this game that are awesome. That it makes just... Makes, it's one of the reasons why I... It's mainly the main game that I play. It's just... I'm such a fun boy, right? <laughs> I know, I know. You guys can say it. You guys can say it. It's hard not to be. Uh, if you like space games, you know, it's hard to be uh, not to be a fun boy. Okay, we are about to arrive. I think I'm going a little bit too fast here. That's okay. Now, normally, I, if I'm correct, this should be the last wave. Now, we've got some more Mustangs here. Let's uh, see what we can do. We've got one right here. All right, about the... A thousand meters away should be far enough. Of course, the guns are much more accurate uh, the closer you are. Well, uh, then I need to fly a little bit better, of course, so that it is uh, it is almost. So people would ask me. Uh, I saw in the comments, Irad, why don't you strafe? Actually, I do strafe, uh, but uh, you know, it's useless to strafe if the enemy is trying to uh, outmaneuver you, right? But, uh, like, for example, right here, I am strafing uh, between 20 to 50 meters on the side. Boom, here we go. It's just uh, it's not really easy to see because, well, it's not the focus. We don't have a lot of asteroids around. When it's empty space, it's really not easy to see. But I can guarantee that I am strafing uh, up and down and on the side as well. All right, now let's uh, take down this one here. Another nice explosion and another Mustang here. I think there's going to be another wave after. Yeah, yeah, this one's going to be really easy to take down. Just dead ahead, straight ahead. There you go. When we have the target dead ahead, we are not spending a lot of time. Oh, yes. Uh, there's the Valkyrie here. Actually, this is the last wave. Valkyrie here trying to attack me. It's not doing much, you know, if it's one-on-one -on -one with pretty much any ship. Uh, especially when my shields are overclocked like they are now. We're not really a lot of damage. Oh, it has two turrets here. I think we took down something. One of the engines is already down, which is definitely not going to help the mobility of this Valkyrie. Uh, they're still... Oh, well, it's down. Target uh, target uh, eliminated. It was not the last wave. There was another one that we are going to uh, to take care of right now. We're gonna fly as quickly as possible. Go, go, go. And we will slow down again as quickly as possible as soon as we are in the uh, 18, uh, yeah, 15 kilometers mark. All right. Oh, there's a, there's a contact right here. Some Buccaneers. Buccaneers, it's, these are really glass cannons, easy to take down. Uh, this, uh, I think I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going to have to try to maybe take down some more targets. Maybe uh, maybe an M50 here. Oh, we're going to have some M50s. Okay, some Buccaneers. We'll try this Buccaneer right here. I think it's the closest to me. So here we go. Let's take it down. This is the final wave from my experience. We should still have eight missiles, seven missiles. Now we just took one down. This is going to make things a little bit easier. I mean... Why not using missiles, right, since we have them? I'm going to claim the ship after, anyway. So, firing all those lasers. Nice uh, little explosion. It lost something, but now it's going to lose everything. Well, actually, that's even better if it rams us. And uh, that's where you can see how tough those rampart shields are, because their shields are absorbing most of the damage, actually. Uh, the front wing was a little bit damaged, but nothing serious uh, it did absorb but as a result I lost a little bit I, mean, I lost about half of my front shields so that is not good but at the same time uh, there's really not much that these Buccaneers can do looks like it must have crashed into me a little bit because I could see it spinning and that's okay let's just face it one more time right here maybe we'll send a little missile here just for fun there you go have some of this and maybe, uh, 
a second one. Let's see, we have a little boom here. Let's send a second missile just for fun. Two missiles didn't do it. I had to wait until my lasers, my neutrons, should finally uh, end it here. There's an M50 interceptor. These are really weak. I mean, look at how quickly it is going to be uh, to uh, dispose of this M50 interceptor. Let's just wait until it has a nice vector. There you go. Nice. Just a few shots. And if I am correct, this should be our very last target. So we are going to first uh, destroy the shields, or at least get rid of the shields. Let's get there a little bit quickly because we were a little bit fast. And as soon as there you go, 2,000 meters, we press X. Uh, the Cutlass has some very powerful retro thrusters, by the way. So you can really slow down very quickly here with this ship. Now I'm using all four neutron cannons here. Uh, since it's a big target, it's going to be very easy to uh, to really have it well and not miss it. And that's pretty much it, guys. I decided to stop the video here because uh, the, what is going to come after will be tomorrow's video. It's going to be a little surprise. Uh, I found something really cool and I want to share it with you guys with another video. That's all for this uh, for this video for today, guys. I wanted to show you uh, my full loadout. Uh, this was more like a complimentary video from the previous video about my ship's left. And everybody wanted to know about the guns. So now you know what guns these are. These are NN14 auto cannons, which are absolutely fantastic actually but it's not for everybody some people said that they don't like the rate of fire they said it's a little bit too slow but i think you just need to learn how to use it I, i'm very satisfied with the way i played it you know alternating top and bottom uh, fire i think that this is working very well at long distances and when you are short distance just use all four cannons at the same time that's my technique at least and that's all for this video guys once again thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow for more videos this is the eradicator i'm signing out